So a few weeks ago, my father-in-law wanted to know if I could come cut down a few old ash trees that he had in his front yard. And he wanted to use about half of it as firewood, and I could slab the other half and just take it home. So of course I said yes. Now, at that point, I only had the one chainsaw, the one that I've shown before for doing the slabs with those walnut logs that I got. And it's a great saw. The problem is, it's kind of a pain to switch from the rails and that gigantic 42-inch bar to something smaller and more, more appropriate for felling the trees that I was going to cut. On top of that, these trees had tons and tons of branches, and so it, they really needed to be limbed after I got them down. So, I went to my local steel dealer, who happened to be having a sale, which I didn't know about at the time. It's actually just fortuitous timing. Anyway, I picked up this little bitty steel... MS-170. I think this is actually the smallest chainsaw still makes. It's only like 30 cc's. And it, it's not like a, a pro level one or anything. It's definitely geared towards the homeowner. But I got it out the door with the oil for less than 200 bucks. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. It's got a, a little, I think it's only like a, let's see. only got like a, I don't know, 14 or 16 inch bar, I don't even remember. But for cutting limbs off, which was my primary reason for getting it, this is just right. And it's been great, it's worked really well. I actually ended up cutting down one of the trees with this, and it was the bigger of the two that had a 20, I think it was 26 inches across where we cut it. So way bigger than this, but it still did it really well. But there are a couple complaints about it that I have, and I've found some really cheap ways to upgrade those two things. So the first is the blade temp tensioner. The blade tensioner is this screw right here. It works fine, it's just the placement is kind of a pain in the butt, and it even has a hole where normal blade tensioners are right here. So that's the first thing we're gonna change. The second is these teeth. For one, they're plastic, and for two, they're just not very big. And on my bigger chainsaw, these, I don't even remember the proper name for them, the dogs, the paws, whatever they are. Um, on my big saw, it came with two big steel sets of teeth. So I ordered some new teeth. So we're gonna install those. Something else I should mention about these two upgrades, got them right here. It was a total of $7.11 to get these shipped to my door. It's from the same manufacturer that makes my saw that I use for slabbing, uh, Farmer Tech. And I, I'm pretty sure these do ship out of China. It took about three weeks for the parts to get here, but it was $7.11. So I was pretty happy with that. Now let's install them. Now we are gonna have to take the bar and chain off to get this tensioner in. So I'm going to loosen that. I guess this saw could use a bit of a cleaning. Now to remove the stock tensioner, it's actually just kind of a press fit. So if you pull the mechanism forward, the screw mechanism, and then just wiggle it back and forth, it will work itself right on out. And then the new mechanism should basically just slide in. And then there's this little clip that slides in right here. Clicks into place. And there is a screw hole there, which in my case, that screw is actually packaged with the teeth. I'm using a T25 because that's the only that's the closest I have, but I think that, but I think this is actually a T30. But the 25 appears to be working. Okay. One thing to watch for where this is a homeowner grade saw, a lot of these components that you're screwing into are plastic. So don't screw too hard because you don't want to crack or strip any of that out. Now to install the teeth, they're just going to go over these 
two holes here and here. And these will be kind of hard to turn because you are cutting the threads as you screw these in. Okay, the teeth are in, pawls, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to look up the proper name because it's bugging me that I can't remember the proper name for sure. And I am a word nerd. All right, we've got that all installed. So we'll put it back together real quick and I'll show you how the new tensioner works and we'll go from there. Got the cover on now, and it's just barely screwed into place. Now we can just take the screwdriver on the scrunch, stick it in there, and get this guy tensioned back up and ready to go. actually. Okay, tighten up these nuts. And now we've got it all put back together and it's ready to go. And I've actually got an old, uh, well it's not a very big maple tree, but just north of my garden in our park strip there, we have this old maple tree. It's probably only a foot across, maybe 14 inches or so, that has died. And I need to cut that down. Um, it's probably not big enough to use for anything in the shop, but it would make good firewood for when I'm out on some of my uh, photo trips. So that's probably what I'll do with it. Anyway, I'll do a separate video on that just to kind of show you the saw in action. Um, but some really cheap upgrades for it. And I'll provide the link in the description if you want to take a look for yourself. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, if you like this video, you know, you can always hit that like button, or the don't like, or, you know, whatever you want to do. Leave a comment, say hi, tell me to not quit my day job, or <laughs> whatever you want to do. Uh, we'll see you next time.